Hey, what is up? Ross Cessna from Spiritual Phoenix Studios. We are on day 33 of the 40 Servants Introduction Ritual. Today we're going to meet the messenger, uh, but before we do that, we are going to talk about the signs from the media. Um, honestly, I've been in such a work-induced burnout <laughs> that if there has been any signs, um, I haven't noticed it really, uh, with the exception of maybe some of the... Um, social media stuff I've been doing, getting more attention than it normally has, but that's been an ongoing process. Um, maybe there'll be some shift in that soon, right? Maybe I'll, I'll get some other information. But as far as this one, didn't really pick up any signs. Uh, I wish I had a better answer for you, but I'm just trying to be truthful, not trying to blow smoke up your ass. And with that said, we will jump into the 40 Servants Introduction Ritual for the... I call on you, great servant, the saint, to come to me so I may know you. I am Ross Cessna, the master and ruler of this domain. I call you here so that you can introduce me to the servant, the messenger, who is known for encouraging us to aim to be open to what life may be trying to tell us and showing us how to best communicate. O oh, great servant, the saint, Bring the messenger forth so that I may recognize him, and in return it will recognize me as their friend and master. Ever obey me, great servant, the messenger, and ever please me. In return I will offer you acknowledgement and sustenance, so that your energy, potency, and fame increase. Give me a sign that you have heard my call and have come forth to welcome me as your master and friend. I make these offerings as a thanks to both of you. And for the uh, incense, I picked copal because um, it's about clarity and then communication because obviously the messenger is about communication. So literally like clear communication. The tea is just the typical chamomile uh, because I think it does a good enough job. And Palo Santo is <laughs> just the Palo Santo. And with that being said, uh, I'm going to meditate on the messenger, and then we will introduce ourselves to them more formally. So stay tuned. All right, now let us introduce ourselves to the messenger. This servant shows us how to best communicate. It encourages us to aim to be always open to what life may be trying to tell us. And the mantra is, all that is spoken is heard. The key words are communication, news, notice, connection, contact, conversation, listening, delivery, link, correspondence, receiving. And the messenger's prayer is, O oh, great servant, the messenger, who allows all things to speak to each other, let, me commu let my communication arrive swiftly so that the words I express are received and understood. May all messages be received. And the irony of like stumbling over those words is funny. Hopefully you still got it though because the messenger was working for me. Uh, in terms of this car, like any signs of early arrival, I mean, I've been communicating more um, to people now than I had probably in the past four years. Um, social life is picking up more and more and more. Part of that's because I the only other social engagement that I had um, was 12-step stuff. Since I've left that, a lot of my social energy is freed up to actually talk about things that I, I enjoy talking about and like bring me life and not focus on who I used to be and like picking on myself. Um, it's a lot more constructive way for me to live, a lot better use of my energy, and it's a lot uh, more rejuvenating and invigorating, invigorating types of conversations that I'm having. Um, so that's one way the messenger has showed up. I'm getting better about not being such a dick when I communicate. Um, another way. So this actually has a, like a way earlier precedent but one of the things that I think is interesting about magic that I don't think people talk about enough is when you understand that time isn't necessarily linear, it's how we perceive things, interactions with any of these things could technically be sending um, their help backwards, right? Uh, it doesn't, their influence could still have been felt previously in my life and I just couldn't have associated it with that card. Now you might say that's just some metaphysical bullshit that you're trying to shape all of your uh, life experience under. And hey, you could be very well right. I'm not, I'm not in a position to defend that argument whatsoever. I'm actually okay with you thinking that as well. I'm also okay with saying, hey, this is a potential thing. I can't prove or disprove it, but it's entertaining to think about and I think the likelihood of it's out there because I don't fucking know everything. <laughs> um, 
But hey, maybe that's just me. Maybe you know everything and I don't. <laughs> now I'm being a smarmy prick, so maybe I messed up on the uh, not being a dick thing. Anyhow, with all of this said, I'm going to quit talking before I dig myself into an even deeper ditch. Um, tomorrow we are on day 34, and we are going to meet the monk. Hopefully the monk isn't as controversial or uh, as aggressive as I, I was today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Hey, thanks again for checking out my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe by hitting the Phoenix down below and check out more of my videos over there.